Hello and welcome to Cash in the Celebrity Attic, the show that finds treasures hidden around the homes of the well-known and then sells them at auction for a variety of good causes. Today I'm going to meet one of the country's leading underwater explorers. He started his career as a physical training officer in the Royal Marines. And if you ask me, he's still pretty fit. In his late 20s, he changed tack and became a marine biologist. And since then, he's led some of the most daring diving expeditions around the world. Today I'm in Bristol and I'm on my way to meet the diver, explorer and, let's face it, bit of a heartthrob, Monty Halls. After eight years in the Royal Marines, it was his underwater escapades that first brought Monty to the nation's attention. He's followed in the tradition of some of Britain's greatest adventurers with a long list of expeditions to his name. Monty's latest exploits saw him and his faithful dog Reuben living the life of a Scottish crofter for six months for the BBC Two series, Monty Hall's Great Escape. So let's hope we can discover some amazing lots to take to auction. Well, good morning, Mr Hayes. You look as if you're about to present the budget. Uh, no, I know it's going to be a bit of an ocean adventure today, so I've got my survival kit. I have a pair of speedos, I have some armbands and some goggles. I'm ready to go. I don't know. Paul in speedos. <laughs> mm. I don't know. Yeah. Actually, I think it sounds rather good. Yes, yeah? it's a sight to be seen. Hey. <laughs> yeah, he's like our Indiana Jones, Monty Halls. He really yeah. is. How exciting is that? I mean, all the shipwrecks and things. There's going to be great treasure in here, I'm sure. Well, let's have a look, eh, shall we? Well, let's have a look at your speedos. No, you're yes, <laughs> And Monty soon turns up these contemporary prints of the famous Tornado Jet Fighter, signed by the pilots, and with a price tag of 40 to 60 pounds. Staying with the military theme, Paul finds this print of the German World War I battleship, the Mark Graf. He thinks a collector could pay 20 to 30 pounds. Do you know, it's going so well today, I think Monty and I can afford to slip off so I can find out more about the man behind the antiques. Monty uncovered this modern print of a famous battleship with, of course, a story of daring do to go with it. We've got your print now of that German battleship, but what was the significance of this then? Uh, it was sunk in Scarpa Flow in 1919. It was scuttled by the German Navy in one of the largest scuttling events in maritime history. And I dived it back in the midst of time and got a little piece of coal from it sitting on my mantelpiece. So Aww. this is the print of the actual battleship. Sounds great. Right. There you go, sounds great. Lot number 149 is a print of SMS uh, Margrath. There we are. Ten pounds for it. Ten is bid. Ah, uh, ten pound is bid. I'll take twelve. Where now? Come on now. It's ten pounds. Twelve. Oh, really? Fifteen. Fifteen. Eighteen. There we are. Sell at eighteen pounds. Selling at eighteen pounds. Old at eighteen. We're glad to see the battleship didn't sink without a trace, but at eighteen pounds, it means we're still. So, just how much have we made for Monty's charity? Time to find out. So, you were looking for four hundred pounds for your charity. Well, you've exceeded it by quite some margin. You've actually made £601. Fantastic. That's really... Oh, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. You're That's welcome. It's really significant because, as I said, that cause for me is a very, very special cause. Yeah. And, uh, it's been a thoroughly enjoyable experience as well. This. We've had a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 600 quid to the charities. It's really great. I'm chuffed to bits. It's been a fantastic day at the auction, with almost everything we found at Monty's house doing well. The £601 raised will go to Help for Heroes, which supports men and women who've been wounded while serving with the British Armed Forces. Hugely significant charity because it's looking after servicemen and service women that are coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan with some, some pretty serious injuries. So it's rehabilitating them and, and helping them get back into normal life. Monty knows only too well how important contributions are for the charity, however large or small. The reason I chose this charity is um, obviously I've got several friends who are out there serving at the moment. I think it's absolutely extraordinary what the young men and women of our armed forces are, are doing out there. Whatever you think of the politics, uh, you know, the job they're doing is absolutely remarkable. And also I had a, a, a very good mate, he was a particularly close friend who was killed out in Iraq. So obviously that, it's a particularly poignant day for me today, really. The money raised goes directly to the cause. There isn't a vast infrastructure supporting it um, so the 600 quid or so that we've just raised in there will help 
some servicemen or servicewomen get back on their feet and get back into life.